Hi everyone, Kiki Cannon here with Cannon Studios and today I'm bringing you another video of the unboxing of the Elite U Jupiter. It took about a year for me to get this one particularly. I did it through a Kickstarter where I got two printers for about $1,400. This doesn't include shipping. Um, so finally getting it now and then after I've used it for a while, we'll go ahead and do a review video. Before I wanted to start with my unboxing video, I just wanted to talk a little bit about safety and using resin printers. So when working with resin, it is particularly toxic, so I do recommend keeping it away from family or being around it or pets. I'm going to be moving all my printers in a secluded room with the door closed, as well as being sure to wear a mask and gloves when working with the material with all the different alcohols and fumes and things like that. So it's really great to set up some kind of filtration system or at least have it in a safety area, a safe area. It's just something to be aware of that I wanted to mention before starting my video or something to consider if you do want to get into resin printing. Okay, so first, we're just gonna cut off the... So mine did not come in a crate. It just literally came in these cardboard boxes. I seen other people's come in crates. Ugh. pieces here so I'm just going to rip the foam So after I unboxed, opening the door, everything, all the contents will be inside here. On the top, we have the toolkit here. Also comes with two FEP films. And here's the build plate. It has a protective plastic on it. And then you can remove Let's see if we get these. You have your little instructions to level your build plate down in here, which comes with instructions on how to do that, to set up the printer.
All right, so we're gonna go over the contents and we have this Chidu box license for the program, the slicing program. We also have basically the instructions for the printer here. Comes with a few regular masks. Some filters here for filtering out the resin. We got gloves. Um, here are the caps for the automatic resin feeder to put the bottles in there. Extra hardware screws. A couple Allen wrenches for loosening up the bolts. Same thing. Or power cord. The power brick. Plastic and metal scrapers. I personally don't really use the metal scraper. I still need to order a build a flex plate for mine. We have some snips here for cutting off supports and things like that. USB drive, air filter. With instructions, it looks like, on how to install here. Has this just little foam piece to protect it to plug it in. All right, thank you guys for joining me in my unboxing video. I will be coming back with some review videos and some different pieces that I'm gonna be printing from the Jupiter that I can compare to some past pieces and things like that. So if you're really interested in more resin content or any other videos, please stick around.